the big reveal of Meghan's wedding dress is one of the most hotly anticipated moments of the big day, but her chosen designer still remains a closely guarded secret. Ralph and Russo is the front-runner, with the bride to be rumored to wear a hand-stitched and heavily beaded design with long sleeves. However, British bridal designer Carolyn Castigliano has claimed that Meghan has in fact given Stella McCartney the honor. Stella is such a perfect fit for Meghan, she told the New York Post. She uses organic fabrics, and her ethos is the same as Meghan. Her style is very underplayed, her dresses are very clean in style, very much Meghan and they are friends. She added, I believe it will be a very straight, faded dress with a big nine-foot train that comes off the dress from the side to create the drama and lace trickling down the top of it. Australian-born Tamara Ralph and Michael Russo are renowned for their full-on Hollywood glamour, dual-encrusted couture designs. Based in a seven-story Mayfair salon overlooking the gardens of Buckingham Palace, Ralph and Russo was the first British fashion house to be invited to the Paris couture shows in a century. Adored by A-list Americans such as Beyoncé and Gwyneth Paltrow, Ralph and Russo made the skirt suit that Angelina Jolie wore to accept her honorary damehood from the Queen in 2014. The design duo were first linked to Meghan when she wore their daring black sheer evening gown worn by Meghan for her official engagement portrait with Prince Harry. Priced at a staggering £55,980, the outfit comprised a silk organza skirt, hand appliqued with silk tulle ruffles, and a sheer bodice decorated with intricate gold feather thread work and beads. And insiders have previously claimed that the retired actress has asked for a £100,000 ornate and intricate gown that will be more of a show's topper than Kate's while still ticking the royal protocol boxes. Earlier this month, members of the brand's haute couture atelier team visited the Royal School of Needlework, who hand-stitched lace for the Duchess of Cambridge's wedding dress. And earlier this month, Prince Harry was seen outside the Ralph and Russo in Chelsea last month flanked by police protection officers. It was rumoured that he was potentially making arrangements for Meghan's gown, although the building is also home to a number of other firms. The brand is still the bookies' favorite at odds of one fifth. Jessica Bridge of Ladbrook said Ralph and Russo remain the odds on favorites, but with Meghan thought to be wearing two dresses on her big day, a gamble is developing on her good friend Roland Mallard being given the honors for her slightly less formal evening gown. She added, however, it wouldn't actually be a huge surprise to see her opt for a classic American designer like Oscar de la Renta. Eartha Morelia Glue, who was born in Canada, would be a fitting choice for Meghan, who may wish to make a nod to her former home.
The former Suits actress, 36, previously wore the designer when she attended the wedding of a friend of Prince Harry in Jamaica. Ertham's feminine creations and fondness of lace could make him the perfect choice for Meghan's wedding gown. However, royal watchers have speculated that the brand's close association with the Duchess of Cambridge may have persuaded Meghan to choose a different designer. Last month, designer Henry Holland tipped former Burberry designer Christopher Bailey as Meghan's designer. The fashion insider, 34, said he believes that Bailey, 46, may have got the job as Prince Harry's fiance has long been a fan of Burberry. Bailey stepped down from his position as chief creative officer of Burberry after 17 years at the helm, officially handing over to successor Ricardo Tizzi last month. However, he remains at the fashion label until the end of the year and Holland believes he could design 36-year-old Meghan's dress as his final bow for Burberry. Meghan most recently wore Burberry when she stepped out in the brand's £1,995 coat in Edinburgh in February, as well as wearing the designer in the past during her time as an actress. How does Meghan compare to other royal brides? Kate famously wore a Sarah Burton for Alexander McQueen lace dress when she married Prince William in 2011 and became the Duchess of Cambridge. The wedding dress cost a phenomenal £250,000, making it the fifth most expensive dress of all time. The Duchess of Cambridge's stunning gown was hailed a perfect tribute to Alexander McQueen. The design, by the late designer's protege and successor Sarah Burton, also paid homage to another princess bride. The intricate lace applique bodice and sleeves of Catherine's dress mirrored those on the wedding gown of Grace Kelly, who became Princess Grace of Monaco when she married Rainier III Prince of Monaco in 1956. Both gowns shared a high-waisted, full-skirted silhouette with a long dramatic train and were worn with the sheerest of veils and diamond tiaras. Kate famously wore a Sarah Burton for Alexander McQueen lace dress when she married Prince William in 2011 Kate's dress featured a high-waisted, full-skirted silhouette with a long dramatic train and an intricate lace applique bodice and sleeves, however Kate's vintage headwear was from an era that preceded Princess Grace's marriage The 1936 diamond halo tiara by Cartier was her something borrowed on loan from the Queen. Lady Diana Spencer's dress was known as, at the time, as the most closely guarded secret in fashion history. The meringue style gown, which was worth £9,000 in 1981, is approximately equivalent to £36,800 today. Details of the future princess's dress managed to be kept a complete mystery until hours before her wedding to Charles, Prince of Wales, at St. Paul's Cathedral.
and the grand unveiling of the gown, which back in 1981 cost £9,000, did not disappoint. Designed by husband and wife duo David and Elizabeth Emanuel, the intricate ivory taffeta gown later saw copycat creations made around the world. However with the elaborate embroidery, 10,000 pearls and a 25-foot long train, it is difficult to even come close to replicating her beautiful bridal look. For designers Elizabeth and David Emanuel, in their late 20s and not long out of fashion school, it was a career-defining moment. Months earlier, in March 1981, Buckingham Palace had announced, to widespread surprise, that the Emanuels had been asked to design the dress Lady Diana Spencer would wear to marry Prince Charles. It was the commission of a lifetime to make the dress of the century. Designed by husband and wife duo David and Elizabeth Emanuel, Diana's dress featured elaborate embroidery, 10,000 pearls, and a 25 foot long train. Queen Elizabeth II's wedding dress has been hailed as fresh and timeless as 70 years on from when she walked out the aisle on November 20, 1947. The Sir Norman Hartnell gown with its fitted bodice and intricate embroidery was perfect for the young 21-year-old princess to marry Lieutenant Philip McBatten. The Duchess Ivory's silk satin creation took royal couturier Sir Norman and his team three months to finish. With a heart-shaped neckline with scalloped edge, the gown was decorated with 10,000 seed pearls, glittering crystals and featured an intricate 13-feet star pattern train. Embroidered with roses, star-shaped flowers and wheat and pearl, crystal and appliques of transparent tulle. Its floral design was seen as a symbol of growth and regeneration after the hardships of the Second World War. On the day of the wedding at Westminster Cathedral, the seamstresses who worked tirelessly on the gown were given a prime spot outside Buckingham Palace as a reward. The Queen, like all British brides in the post-war days, was given 200 extra clothing coupons from the government towards her wedding trousseau. Women across the UK, keen to ensure Princess Elizabeth would have the dress of her dreams, sent their own coupons to the young royal to help out. But it was illegal to give coupons away, and the gifts had to be returned. Queen Elizabeth II's wedding dress, with its fitted bodice and intricate embroidery, has been hailed as fresh and timeless as 70 years on from when she walked out the aisle on November 20, 1947.